Okay, so we're doing finding probability using the normal distribution. I guess this is part two. Uh, this is going to be a slightly more difficult example, but only, only slightly. Okay, let's see how it works. Find the probability of scoring more than 70 on a test if the mean is 68 and the standard deviation equals 9. First thing I'm going to do is draw it. It's a really good idea to start by drawing these things. Normal distribution. Here's the mean. Mean is 68. Find the probability of scoring more than 70 on a test. There's 70. That's just above 68. That makes sense. And we want to know the probability of scoring more than that. Okay. Um, and finally, the standard deviation. You can just sort of do it over here somewhere. The standard deviation is equal to 9. 9, 9, 9. Um, okay. Now that we've drawn it, we have a good idea of what it looks like. We can make sure that when we do it on our calculator, we get a similar sort of thing. Um, there is a problem though. So first, the probability that x is greater than scoring more than 70 is equal to. Now, when we do this on our calculator, there's a problem because our calculator asks, asks us for a lower bound and an upper bound. Now, the lower bound is simple. It's 70. It's the lowest we want to go. But the upper bound is more difficult because normal distributions actually go on forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Forever. So there's no upper bound that makes sense. So, problem. The way that we can do it is sort of attack it from the, the side. Instead of calculating the probability of this happening, we can calculate the probability of this happening, of between 68 and 70. Now, we know that the probability of anything happening above the mean is 50%. So, if we know this little bit here, and we take it away from 50%, we'll know this bit here. So, the way that it looks when we do it, the probability that x is greater than 70 is equal to 0 0.5 minus the probability... 68 is less than x, which is less than 70. Done. Let's try it out. Lower bound, I'm going to find this number here, 68. Upper bound, 70. Standard deviation, uh, 9. Mean, 68. Down, draw it. Okay, you can see it's drawn our little section in here, and it says the probability of that happening is 0 0.0879. Always try to go to uh, four decimal places here. Then I can just go to my maths, 0 0.5 minus 0 0.0879, and I get 0 0.4121. Okay, that's a slightly more complicated version of the uh, normal distribution thing, um, but only slightly. Try it out, get used to it, ask me if you're setting it out right, and we'll move on from there. One more thing I need to mention here is that this question could be done backwards. So if, the, if it said find the probability of scoring, scoring less than... 65. Now if it was asking us that question, the normal distribution still looks like this with 68 here. There's 65. We want to know this less than 65, but we can't come at it directly because it goes on and on and on and on, and on forever and ever and ever. So we do this bit here. So the probability that x is less than 65 is equal to that whole piece, 0 0.5, minus the probability that uh, 65 is less than x, which is less than 68. And you can calculate that similarly. Alright, 
that's it. That's finding probability using normal distribution too. There's one more slight thing, but it's probably this is probably the more difficult bit.